Let's take this off. Okay, I found a little old spindle scrap that already had a tenon on it that matches. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off, use that for a jam chuck. We're using a thin parting tool. Okay. Now, I've measured the inside, and that's what we're going to define. going to take a skew on its side, take peeling cut. Taper just a bit. Let's see how close we got. Got a little ways to go. Now we're going to taper the front and do an excessive approximation. If it fits on the front, we're almost there. Shot it again. Okay. Nothing that we've already learned that a little uh, bit of paper towel won't help resolve. Just don't want to split it. Don't want too much pressure on it. I think we just like it's running pretty true. Now we're going to bring up the tailstock uh, for support. So let me use my Nova Live Center system. I want to be able to get right down near the edge so I'm going to put this long quarter inch point on it and that'll give me a little extra margin of error as I cut away this waste, waste stock here. Gradually take this away. Cutting towards the tailstock. Okay, I think we're going to sand that, sand that in, into submission here. fingers here. Okay, we're going to use this to keep from getting fingerprints on it. Set that aside and come back tomorrow to work on the perch and the glue up. Alright, we're getting ready to turn the perch. Uh, when, I was in a, when I was in the Army there used to be an old saying that was the right way, the wrong way, and the Army way. But when you ask turners, you get far more answers than three. You ask uh, ten turners, you're going to get eleven different answers. So I'm going to show you some different ways to you can chuck up that perch wood based on what you've got. If you're a pen turner and you've got these pen jaws, cut you a three-quarter inch blank and that, that works fairly well. Uh, the, another way to do it is the way my preferred way of doing it, and that's to use a collet chuck. Turn it between centers, uh, turn it round so it'll fit in your collet, and then you get a very snug uh, hold. The other way is if you don't have the luxury of those, those particular uh, uh, chucks, you can always turn it between centers to a uh, drill hole size, whether it's a half inch, five eighths, three quarters, doesn't make any difference. But turn it to that size, drill a small hole into a scrap of wood with a chuck tenon on it, or this could even be mounted on a faceplate uh, before you do this, and uh, glue it in there so it's it's inside that recess and put a shoulder on it right here uh, don't just have it square but get a little shoulder and then you've got a very strong secure hole so that's three different ways you can uh, perch you can chuck up the, the perch wood all right let's turn a perch Here on the end, just because it adds a little, little detail. 
here. We have no knob on this end. I'm going to turn a little miniature bird. We're just going to shape the tail first. Just use a scrap left over from the spindle. Let's get around first. I got the idea for these miniature birds from Stephen Krumenacker's uh, video from a couple years ago. You can check out his, his wood turning channel. I'll have a link to that in the description to this video. Now, before I part it off, I need to drill a little hole that we're going to put a wire in. So I'm going to, and I'm going to angle it, and I'm going to start that hole with this awl. And then we're going to use my, my pin chuck. And it's easy to drill a small hole with a pin chuck. And get this out of the way. We'll drill this all the way through because we're going to put a little piece of uh, steel wire that's going to reinforce fastening the body through to the head and the head to the perch. There we go. Okay, now we can go ahead and finish. Let's sand that where it came through just a little bit. All right, now let's go ahead and part this off. Be able to see this as I do the head and put it together. All right, now we're going to turn the head from a scrap I previously rounded and put a 5 8 inch tenon. So I'm going to change collets just because that's the size I'd turn this scrap. I keep lots of these little scraps around. I believe this is a piece of crepe myrtle. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to take it round and it's running a little off, but doesn't matter. We're going to make it round. Before we do any part that off, we need to also uh, drill it. Just drill it at a. Let's see. We want to come this way at a slight angle. This time, we're not going to drill all the way through it because this is going to be a stopped hole because of the wire we're going to use. Okay. It gets deep enough to hold it. Touch it up a little, a little bit of 400. Okay, we're gonna finish this off with a little round uh, quarter-inch uh, skew, and I'm just gonna hone that just a, just a bit. Make sure we got it nice and sharp. It's high-speed steel, just easy to make. Okay, and we're just gonna arc. 
Look at him, eh? Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little hole in the perch to support this bird. So we're going to do that, start that hole with all. I should have done this on the lathe, but I didn't. But no problem, we can just do it here. This hole could be almost all the way through it, but we don't want the wire to show on the other end. So we're going to stop before we get to the bottom, maybe. Okay, there's that. Okay, now we're going to start with a little piece of uh, a soft wire. And I'm just going to cut it off a little bit, make it a little easier to deal with, and then we can trim it to final length here in a moment. And let's get the spray dry. Okay. Um, I think what I want to do is put a little bit of glue here. And these hemostat, I bought this uh, quite a while back to help with some sanding and never really did use it much, but it will be handy for this. So we're going to put just a we're spray, spray this. And we're going to put just a bit of glue here and just get just a little bit on here. And then stick it in there. Give it just a moment to dry. Let's give that just a moment. Then we're going to come back and slide that all the way through here. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut that wire a little more so we don't have to thread it. Don't want to cut it too short though because you need a little bit to go through the body and into the into the perch. Okay. There. Now I need to make sure this wire is pretty straight. So it'll slide on easily through that hole. There's not a lot of a lot of room. Okay. So now we're gonna put this through the body, starting at the angle top, working its way through like that. Now we're gonna take just a bit of glue and add it all along that wire bit underneath the head and then we're just going to ease this on and turn it a bit and there's the bird I'm going to hit that with some accelerant and that'll make it a little easier now we're going to cut this one more time and cut it just where it'll stick into the into the perch. Okay, now we've got it shortened. I'm going to go ahead and use some of this glue that still hasn't set up yet. And we're going to point this toward the front like this. And just twist it on there a little bit. There we are. There's our little miniature bird on the perch. All right, now it's time for a little assembly. We're going to take the uh, CA glue and just put just a thin, thin amount right along the end, right along the inside of the, the roof. And probably wouldn't hurt for me to hit that accelerant. 
and I look for the grain to figure out where is the best place and I think that's the best place right there so you can take advantage of that, that nice zebra wood grain uh, cross grain next I'm going to hold that in place we're going to Get that with a little bit of accelerant. We're going to put just a little bit of glue here on the, on the perch. Put a little bit here. Make sure I get a lot on there. And then we're just going to put this in here like this and just squeeze it in and hold it for just a moment. And there we go. There's our little little birdhouse. And one more one more task. I forgot. Um, I throw in a, a rare earth magnet in here to keep all these things together. Uh, we'd already drill that screw eye, so we're going to put that in the starter hole. And size matters. So get the tiny, tiny little screw eyes. And I found the best source for these little screw eyes in the United States is Peachtree Woodworking. They sell a hundred of them for two bucks. Now, there we go. I'll put a little piece of ribbon on it later. So, I like it a lot. Next time, I think I'm going to use the white as the body, so I'll have more of a contrast between the body and the uh, perch. There's just so many different things you can do to decorate these things. With a dyed roof, you can color shingles with pyrography. Just don't make them too uniform. Natural edge roof. Um, contrasting woods, uh, texture of the roof, add a little birds you can buy at a store if you don't want to turn them, uh, make an unusual shape such as a mushroom. Pay attention to the detail turning on the perch because details really do matter. Unusual uh, shaped roofs that draw people's uh, attention. Figured wood, spalted wood, you can uh, take uh, bits and pieces of wood and, and compare and contrast them and add them to the roof line.